President Muhammad Buhari has called on world leaders to unite against crime, economic and health challenges across the globe. Buhari and U.S. President Joe Biden, who addressed the 76th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York on Friday, declared that the recent trend of unconstitutional takeover of power must not be tolerated by the international community. The 76th section holds from 21 to 27 September 2021 and heads of state and government will address the General Assembly following the theme Building Resilience Through Hope to Recover from COVID-19, Rebuild Sustainability, Respond to the Needs of the Planet. President Buari, who is the second speaker on the fourth day, started by addressing the issues of COVID-19 pandemic. The President... I want to thank the international community for the concerted response to COVID-19, the solidarity and the drive to contain the first truly global health emergency of our time is a pointer to the many things we can achieve if we work together. Vaccination is the key to our safe emergence from the pandemic. We fully support the COVAX initiative from which we have benefited. Among other issues raised, the president speaks on cross-border crimes and terrorism. He warns that democratic gains of the past decades in West Africa are now being eroded due to these negative trends. Nigeria remains deeply concerned over the illicit trade, transfer and circulation of small arms and light weapons. Their excessive accumulation and uncontrolled spread in many regions of the world are having devastating humanitarian and socio-economic consequences, especially on the continent of Africa. It is on this note that my delegation calls for the worldwide application of the Arms Trade Treaty to codify accountability in conventional arms trade, which is critical to the security of nations. During opening remarks on Tuesday, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres warned of a world on the edge of an abyss as he urged countries to up engagement with the organization. Jacinta Obuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.